the Scripps Howard Foundation is proud to offer this year, for the first time, an award that honors excellence in digital innovation. The winner? The New York Times. After being caught in it for a little while, holy moly, this, this may be the end. I, I, this is it. This is, are you serious? This is really the way I'm going to, to die? Those are the words of Elise Sawstead, one of 16 expert skiers and snowboarders who went into the Washington backcountry for a day in the fresh powder. Their harrowing story was told months later by the New York Times in Snowfall, the avalanche at Tunnel Creek a groundbreaking digital presentation that wove narrative, video, three-dimensional animated motion graphics and photography into an immersive browsing experience spread across six chapters. The Times creative team set out to recreate the avalanche and make readers feel as though they are part of the story. The innovative coverage quickly grabbed 3.5 million page views, was shared more than 10,000 times on Twitter, and at its peak was visited by 22,000 people at one time. Snowfall was quickly heralded as a new horizon for newspapers, but at the New York Times it was just one of a handful of projects that illustrate the newspaper's scope and ambition for digital journalism. Other projects in the Times award-winning entry included 512 Paths to the White House, an innovative electoral college visualization, the London 2012 Olympics, a website powered by a real-time data feed and sourced directly from the International Olympic Committee. One race, every medalist ever, Usain Bolt, a single interactive that placed Usain Bolt on the same track as every medalist in history. And finally, Angry Birds, Farmville, and other hyper-addictive stupid games, which used user-driver interactivity. At the New York Times, it's all about providing a non-traditional experience that allows readers to enter the story and the newspaper to enter the digital era of the 21st century. It pulled you into the story. It was truly immersive. They and a few others are, are helping to lead the way in showing journalists how we can use these new tools and techniques techniques they used did not feel like gimmicks. They felt like you were really being guided down into the story by using the best um, storytelling techniques they could come up with. Stories can be told differently and better with new digital tools. That's, the, that's something anybody can have. Rich Bainey, President and Chief Executive Officer of the EW Scripps Company, presents the Scripps Howard Award for Digital Innovation and $10,000 to the New York Times. Accepting is senior graphics editor, Archie Say. Um, thank you very much. Uh, I want to convey our thanks to Scripps, the Scripps Howard Foundation uh, for this tremendous honor. Um, as recently as six years ago, multimedia storytelling was really mostly an afterthought you know, throughout our uh, newsroom. <clears throat> but now I can't think of any, any desk or department uh, that doesn't like, think about the web first. Uh, um, the web has opened up what seems like an infinite number of like ways to tell stories, and you know we're just beginning to figure figure out like oh here's another cool way to do things. Um, and one of the like one of the lessons I think that we've learned along the way is that you really you can't uh, journalism is no longer well for us it's not it's not the effort of a single individual or you know like the lone reporter. It's, it's really the collaboration of a lot of really smart journalists who come together who bring a lot of different skills um, from reporting to photography to video, um, video to um, coding to you know, um, data, you know, data analysis. Um, you, have to, you have to bring all those people in the room and you want all those people to be the best journalists also that they can be. Um, so, uh, I want to thank uh, Arthur Sulzberger, uh, Bill Keller, and Joel Abramson for making sure that um, even in these like, difficult financial times, the paper has really increased its commitment to innovation and storytelling. Thank you. <laughs>